No. 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 So are you one of those golfers who feels like they put lots and lots of time in, practice and play, but just feels they never get better? Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna show you in today's video why the real reason that you're not improving. Okay, so for today's video, I'm gonna use my habits in my golf swing to explain the big difference that I made with my swing a few years ago with the way I practiced in order to help me be a little bit better with my shots. Now, I'm sure if you watch my videos, you might say I need to work a bit harder. Now, it's blowing a gale outside in Blackpool. So you can see stuff keeps blowing into the studio. So apologies if it looks a little untidy. Now, historically, my golf swing, I hit the ball from right to left. So if I were to hit a normal shot without really thinking too much, the ball will tend to shape from right to left. And we can see there on Trackman, my club path was 5.4 degrees from the inside. The club face was 3.3 .3 degrees closed. The low point was 0.6 inches ahead and the carry was 177 yards. Now, obviously we could look at that and say, that was actually a pretty good shot. But what I've always tended to find is the more exaggerated my pattern gets, the more closed the club face gets, I get kind of one that sets off left and hooks, or I then drop it more from the inside and the ball stays out to the right. So I've, for a while, still not mastered it, been working harder on trying to take a bit of shape off my shot. So if we look down the line, kind of my typical golf swing is the club travels from the inside, closed club face, I get a lot of hands involved, and I have to be playing the locks, I rely on timing. Now, a lot of you guys might not hit that hook and that draw, it might be slices. So what you first need to understand is what do you need to do to take shape off your shot? So for me, I need to feel that I swing more out to in and feel that the club face stays a little more open at impact. So what you'll see with a lot of golfers, and I've definitely been guilty of this in the past, is we aim up, say, okay, I'm gonna feel like I swing a little bit more out to in, And it's probably a slightly better shot. My path was better, one degree from the inside, club face slightly open, low point ahead and a good strike, and definitely a straighter shot. Now, the danger is, even though that does feel a little different, I don't think it feels exaggerated enough. So for me, when I'm practicing, I wanna see the ball shaping the other way. So I wanna feel as exaggerated as I can, swinging, out to in or left. And I wanna feel like I really leave the club face very, very open. And my experience as a coach is when you ask people to do something, they never exaggerate enough to get the full end of the scale. So I'm gonna aim straight, feel a swing very out to in with a wide open club face. And I'm expecting, like that one's done, to miss out to the right. Now we can see swing direction, which is the direction my swing's moving at the lowest point, 14 degrees out to in. The club path, 8.8 .8 degrees out to in, and the club face nearly 15 degrees open. Now, interestingly there, the low point of my swing actually moved further forward. So I like that. I like the fact that as I'm coming in, the shaft's gonna lean much more forward, and it gives me an opportunity then to kind of compress the golf ball. Now, historically, I've always had my low point very much under the ball, kind of flicked it up in the air, and it's made it very, very hard. So I like to feel a couple of those very exaggerated ones. And even though that felt hugely exaggerated, we can see the path and the direction weren't as exaggerated and the club face wasn't as exaggerated. So even though I'm trying to really exaggerate that feeling, we can see I'm actually starting to shape the ball less and less. And I always think if you can exaggerate a feeling, so in my 
idea that way. It's easy, once you exaggerate, to dial the feeling back. But you have to be willing to learn. I don't think when you're practicing something, you should look at it as good shot, bad shot. It's that first one I did that was very exaggerated. I saw the ball curve out to the right. So that was a great learning experience. So once I've been exaggerated, can I feel just not quite as exaggerated? That definitely felt I swung more left. So we can see swing direction 2.8 degrees left. Club path under a degree left. Club face 3.6 degrees open and carry 162. Now I know this might sound odd because most golfers kind of miss it left to right. So you'd just be working on the opposite. But what I'd be really interested in from today's video is if you enjoy this concept of what's the exaggerated feeling to dial back, comment below and let me know what your bad shot is and I could make more videos to help you guys enhance your practice and really make sure you feel you're improving from that first golf swing. So I'm gonna feel again, swinging slightly left, stop the club phase closing, that felt lovely. So we can see there, swing direction, 3.8 degrees left. Club path, 1.2 degrees left. Club face, two degrees open. Low point, three and a half inches ahead. And again, 162 carry. Now, I really like that feeling in my golf swing because for a number of years, big left has been my miss. I don't feel when I do that movement I can miss too far left. I feel that my misses are much, much tighter left to right, and it becomes a much more playable golf shot. So again, I'm gonna set up, for me, feel like I swing left, stop that club face rotating. Didn't feel as exaggerated, and the numbers would back that up. Swing direction was 0.6 degrees left. Path was slightly from the inside. Club face was slightly closed. Now, obviously when you play golf, you don't get the level of feedback nobody does that Trackman would give me. And you might be practicing, ultimately without any feedback at all. So the golf ball doesn't lie. If I'm getting the ball to shape the other way, my path and the club face relative to the path is different from what I've been doing before. But like I said earlier on, you've got to be able to stand there and be willing to exaggerate. Even if the strike's not quite there, if we can exaggerate that movement. And for me, looking at that, those numbers are good, but not as exaggerated as they feel. Now, if you are enjoying today's video, I'd love it if you don't currently subscribe, which I know a lot of you watching still don't, I'd love you to hit the button below, ring the notification bell, and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Now, the holy grail in golf shots would be a zero path, zero face, so a dead straight shot. It's not something I ever practice, really. I work on the opposites, and if I get closer to it, that's fine. But just as one last shot challenge in the video, let's see if I can get my club path and club face at zero and hit the perfectly straight shot. So there's the path. Swing direction was left. Club path was 0 0.0. Club face was 0.3 degrees closed. Low point was 3.1 inches ahead. So we can see there, incredibly close, even though that one did shape a little bit, incredibly close to zero, zero. Now, I'm never worried about zero, zero, but if I can take a little bit of shape off my shots, I don't need to aim as wide, and it'll be exactly the same for you guys, whether you're right to left, left to right, topping it, fattening it, whatever it might be. You have to be willing to exaggerate what you work on. And if you can exaggerate, you can dial back. And that's gonna make sure that you absolutely get better 
when you play in practice. So guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. There's another video just there that YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.